The japchae recipe I'll be sharing with you today is my personal favorite. It's called prawn and beef japchae that my mom used to make for me back in New Zealand. And I miss it so much. So now you need the beef, top side or rump side. I'm gonna slice it now. And if you don't want to slice it by yourself, you can ask your butcher to slice the same. For the seasoning, start with sesame oil. There's many types, but I recommend Korean product. Mm, outstanding. You can easily find it at any Korean or Asian supermarket. Mix everything nice and evenly. I think this is done. Let's get the vegetables ready. Shiitake and black fungus mushrooms should be sliced after they've been softened in hot water. Before you slice the shiitake mushroom, you should take the stalk out first. The rest of the vegetables should be cut to similar lengths and sizes. Get spinach ready as well, after boiling in hot water. Jap in japchae means mix, while che is from cheso, the Korean word for vegetables. So true to its name, just about any vegetable can be used in this dish. Now comes the important stage cooking Korean sweet potato noodle, dangmyeon. In boiling water, you want to cook the noodles for about 3 minutes. After 3 minutes, Pull out a sample noodle and check whether it's transparent. If it is, it's done. After draining the noodles, add soy sauce, sesame oil, and sugar, one tablespoon each. Only the egg yolk is needed. This is known as jidan in Korea. Looks nice, doesn't it? Throw in all the pre-cut veggies and fry away. Which brings us to our key ingredient, prawns. Prawns are not usually found in japchae, but I found they add color and flavor and texture as well. Garnish with jidan and pine nuts and sesame seed and my mom's signature dish beef and prawn japchae is done. Mmm, just like my mom's. Japchae is our party favorite and we're gonna have a little party now here. Thanks for being with us and bon appetit. or grilled marinated beef is one of the most popular Korean dishes in the world. Those who know it, love it. My bulgogi recipe slightly differs from others because it's bulgogi salad or beef with vegetables and fruit. So now I'm going to show you how it's made. Make the salad dressing by combining soy sauce, lemon juice, orange juice, sugar, vinegar. Last but not least, for a nice tangy flavor, add some whole grain mustard. Now for the marinade. You need water, soy sauce, sugar, chopped green onion, and garlic, plus some sesame oil and pepper. Today, I'm going to use white wine, which is an alternative to medium. As for the beef, buy thinly sliced sirloin or tenderloin to help with marination. Mix the beef with the marinade. 
was marinated, we can stir fry the beef. Be sure to oil the pan first. When the beef turns nice and brown, put it aside to cool. Now we can make our salad. Half a red bell pepper and a quarter of an onion. Use a peeler to slice your cucumber into thin strips. Like this. Rinse the vegetables in cold water. Okay, this will enhance the crunchiness. Mmm! Drain and put the vegetables in a bowl. Add olive oil and mix. Now bring everything together. Vegetables first, followed by bulgogi, then the dressing. Looking good, but uh, I think missing something. Don't you think? I'm going to add a few pieces of the pear. And top everything off with some pomegranate seeds. Our healthy and hearty pulgogi salad is done! Different from the usual pulgogi, right? So make sure to give it a go.